Welcome today. I want to introduce you to XLIF translation in YANA. So you may have recognized in one of our previous tutorials that there are languages directories in your plugins. There are two languages already existing. One is named DE, the other is named EN. These are basically the locales for translation. And you got XLF files in both. So let's open one of these, take a look. Basically you see by the doc type that these are our ASIF standard XLIF documents. XLIF means XML language interchange file format. If you look at those they are pretty pretty straightforward. You see that you got a language ID here, a source tag and a target tag. Source tag is the source language, target tag is target language. So what we do with this is um, you can of course just edit this file yourself. Basically what you want to do is maybe copy this one add a new ID and uh, enter whatever source and target you would like like this okay of course you can also translate your whole project by just editing these files in a text editor but there's another and easier way to do this Open Language Tools, XLIF Translation Editor. It's a tool, free tool by Sun. And um, I already created the project, I'll just put you through. You type in the source and target language. Let me set this to German. And let's call it My Translation Project. Okay. Click Open File, select XLIF, and I open up my Languages directory, go to DE, and open my XLIF file. And you see it starts by bringing up an editor. There are source on one side, so these are the source strings, and these are target strings can also tell this by just looking at the icons above. What you basically do is you double click and edit by just typing. So next is OK, mark as translated. Go to the next. I already translated this one. Text, OK. And let's translate this one. You may either click right and select translate it or click the icon here. Confirm and translate next. Okay. Comments and so on. Okay. And when you're done, you just press save. right and off you go and you see that our application has been applied that's the text we just translated and besides you see that it's the table name I just translated and so on so I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and see you soon bye bye